Welcome to the kitchen. My name's Tracy. I'm Tanina. <laughs> and today we're cooking pretzels. Pretzels. Very exciting. Ta -da. Look at the reveal. I oh know. Look, no, look at that reveal. Just like that. There, uh, so you. we're going to get straight into it. Yeah. But while we are doing it, anyone can ask any question, can't they? They can. Ask us anything. Hashtag ask us anything. Wow, I've that's got that a good going, one. You know? Have you? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. That's really excellent. It's a bit scary. So Tanina always brings the recipe into the kitchen and we cook it you fix for it. you. <laughs> we fix it up. We make it <laughs> workable. They unthermomix it. <laughs> they, de they deconstruct it. Mm. Okay, so, so it's a deconstructed pretzel recipe. Uh, it's <laughs> Tanina's Amish. Is it Amish or Amish? Look, Does my it husband's matter? Hamish, so who Hamish. Knows? It could be yeah. a Hamish pretzel. All right, so okay. we're going to start you from halfway through this process, aren't yes. we? Because I've got some dough that we'll show you how to make in a minute already mm. done because you need to uh, obviously allow it to prove. So yeah. pretzels are those round things with the twirly bit and the thing that goes like that, aren't they? Well, that's very, yeah, that's a perfect a visual explanation. <laughs> a visual explanation. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to divide the dough that is here. But I don't know whether the cameraman's really paying very much attention, but we just need a top shot here. <laughs> there we go. So if we pull this back, you can see all that beautiful um, all that beautiful air that the yeast has worked into it. It's like magic, isn't it? Actually, Don't you love it? It's very pretty, isn't it? It, looks it like is a absolutely Look gorgeous. I know. I think if you stop and appreciate it, just for a second. Okay, moving on. Okay. Oh. So I'm going to take cool. this out. Yeah, I'm going to take you this out. You use that now? And oh, I've got my inbuilt scraper. Okay. And um, Janine is going to make a filling. I'm going to make some plain pretzels. We're going to make some pretzel bites. And we're also, I really, really, really want to do some cinnamon sugar yep. uh, coated pretzels as well. And so the reason we're doing the bites ooh, is just because um, in the United States, if you there's pretzel shops everywhere, <laughs> believe it or not. And um, they always have the little, like a little cup of bites and they've got all sorts of fillings on dips. You can have the cinnamon sugar ones, dip it in a cream cheese sauce. You can have the ones we're doing and have them dip it in a blue cheese sauce or a ranch dressing or, you know, Bob's your uncle, anything you can That's come up That's what they say, with, really. the Amish, don't they? Yeah, Bob's they your do. uncle. Actually, I saw, I saw them making these in um, Philadelphia in the markets. There's a fantastic market there and the ones. Amish people are there with their Amish. baked goods unbelievable and they the girls are so magic to watch i they don't like you to film them um but i'm they not shy yeah it's like <laughs> so <laughs> so they literally do sort of a flick of the wrist and there's a pretzel done you know they've got like the that. roll yeah and but much prettier much prettier <laughs> so lovely so i'm just putting the filling together into the food processor which is just some gouda cheese some jalapenos though these are the pickled jalapenos just so you know you could use fresh if you liked, if you like living on the edge. And then we've got the chorizo, and that's a fresh chorizo, not a cured chorizo. But well, you could it, do use you know what? It's semi-cured that yeah, one. But yeah, yeah you but can you can use yeah, the, you like, can use yeah. You can use yeah. You just don't it. want a really tough one, do no. you? You want a we've sort of semi-soft one. You know, oh, as you do, like. skin those sausages. Okay, yeah, we didn't so really want the skin in here. No, that, am I? Am yeah, I that should be. That's it. Oh, maybe I got the broken one. Oh no, you're right. Okay. So, so now I'm just going to pulse that together until it's sort of a nice blend, basically, for a filling. So I'm making, um, I've cut half the dough into six here, and we're just, we're going to make the largish pretzels. I've got a big air bubble in there. You've got I something feel to say, it. Tracy? Yeah, no, I can, no, they'll no, still, no. yeah. <laughs> no, that, uh, 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 that. So um, this is the fun part of making the pretzels, I think. That's I know perfect, that's the, yeah, isn't that's it? Yeah, that's great for the kids to do this part. And and now you've got to beat beat it. Yeah, get extremely violent with it. I got but really excited. Violent. Oh, I got really excited about this bit because I thought if I could do this, I can make noodles, can't I? Well, I reckon next step. Yeah. And it's going to be about as long as your arm. Yeah. Look so at that. Some, it's very easy. Some pretzels will be longer than others. Um, so the next thing that we need to do is shape these pretzels. Can the cameraman see with the with o over the top? This is quite this is quite a skinny one, isn't it? But this is how I was doing it with mm. a flick of a. Oh dear, we've got a bit of a naughty bit there, haven't we? Mm. Do we do it one more time? Go no, that's uh, right. And you've got your water. Yep. 
Yeah, and I've got my water here already. So is that a pretzelish shape? That's pretzelish that to me. Because it's quite soft, isn't yes. it, Tanina? So yes. um, do you want to do that bit? And we're going to put it yeah. straight on there and okay. whack these. We're going to do, should we do three? Yeah, Let's okay. do three because we so could have a plain one. So this hot or, well, sorry, it's warm. And it's got we'll some bicarb in it. And then dissolved in the water. And then... You just dip it in there. And this is what gives the pretzel its colour and its crust. So when you see sometimes pretzels that have sort of cracks, you know, like splits in the dough, um, and they're very dark, it's th it's to do with the bicarb. Ha-ha. Who would have known that with bicarb soda? There you are. You can be okay. the reshaper. I'll be the initial <laughs> shaper. It's quite good to do with a friend. I don't know whether I'm totally out of the picture here on this side, but anyway. We'll just roll go. and slap. <laughs> and that's the fun bit about baking, isn't it? It's like, you know, these sort of fun things yeah, to do like this. The kids love doing this. And these are really kind of fun for this weekend because there's the Royal Show starting, there's the footy finals, there's, you know, people are having people around. And it's the Queen's birthday. Oh, and so the Queen loves a good pretzel. That I was just about <laughs> to say, I wonder how many people do know that, that the Queen loves a good pretzel. Yeah, she does. So um, I don't know. I think she likes the ones in cinnamon sugar. So I we'll think those we'll are we'll her favourite ones. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to so whack these straight in the oven, aren't we? Do they need salt or anything on them now? I think. I thought afterwards. Oh, I think the salt recipe. won't stay on. Does it say afterwards? Yeah, because of the butter. It's a bad recipe. Oh, yeah, true. No, you put the butter okay. on no. and then it sticks to I'll the... I'll listen to you. It sticks to the butter. I'm only saying Who that because that's that what Bri told me. Yeah, he knows. I'm only saying that because that's what Bri told me. She's, she's just here in the studio. So I'm going to slip those straight onto our hot tray there yep. in at 220. And while they're cooking, we're going to show you how to make the um, actual the dough itself. Oh, and and we're also going yeah. to make... So these three can go for another three sort of largish pretzels running out of space a little bit later on. Cover those and keep them nice and moist. These are going to be, we're going to do a similar thing with these. If y When you make them at home, right, you're going to measure them a lot better than me because we're sort of living on the edge type of girls, we aren't love, we? we love Don't that. know whether you'd notice that, <laughs> but we are a bit living on the edge. So this one now is we're going to use the filling that Tanina's yeah. made and make little trizzo bites. Now I'm going to take this out. Oh out Tanina right. she's not used to this magic mix I'm, I'm going to take this out because you can imagine just putting your fingers in there you d definitely want to have this out safety first safety first Tanina in our kitchen yes. all right so this is what you've got to do you've got to roll this into a sausage shape you can do that a bit if you want to but then you press it down like this can you hear the bubbles <laughs> popping? It's the bubbles it's popping. It's beautiful dough. Yeah. It's beautiful soft dough. It's lovely, lovely to work with. We can make it a little bit longer if we want to by doing mm -hmm. that slapping thing again. And then going like this. Now, you can either cut it into 10 pieces first and then wrap your little yeah. filling yeah. around it. Or you can put your little filling in and go like this and cut them off each time. My concern about doing it that way is that the filling, the filling tends out. to come out. Yeah. So I thought if we could do it the other way, but... <laughs> to be honest... Yeah, go on, tell way, me, tell well me. Well, there's any anyway you like, isn't there, really? Like, you oh, know. you're going to pick it, you're going to do another thing now. Well, just gonna make you it. can just do like a, like a bow, you know, like a dumpling well, almost, can't you? Look wow. at the bubbles. I know, I know, Stunning. it's good, okay. it's good. And then we'll just get a little bit of the filling... Our lovely volunteer, Sue, made this from the recipe to Nina before Thank we started. Goodness. So it was from the recipe. <laughs> and then just what sort of I'm fold going it to over and, and, you know, get a bit. Is use some of that water with the bicarb yeah, in because it's the only one I've got. It. So that, that's, that's it. We've got like a, a sealed filling inside the bread. And then put it in till it floats. No, just, just dip it. <laughs> <laughs> in and out. There you go. In yeah. and out. This one's It's not nice. pretty though. Those ones are prettier when they're little bites. Yeah, know? well, we'll mm. show you those in a minute because I think yeah. you carry on. And we've okay. got to make at least six of these, I reckon. Okay. So, because otherwise we're so quick like those Amish girls <laughs> 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 making these. So it's about a teaspoon or so of filling. Yeah. This, I'll tell you what, 
No wonder the Queen likes you so much. <laughs> I hope she's watching. She is a Cooks she Collective subscriber. Yeah, I think she, she's she on your um, Insider, insider club, yeah. club as well. She tunes in regularly. She does like a good, good old messages. recipe and a good old laugh, yeah. does our Lizzie. So um, I think just sealing it with a little bit of water mm. might do the trick, hey? And there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of allowing it to prove for the second time or anything like that. No, I don't think it matters. I, I think, think they the like to do things quickly, those those Amish, Amish yeah, people. They do. Get it done. Yeah. Get it done and then Get go it out, and sold. out into the sunshine and play. Yeah. That's what they do. No, they've got to go Ma build a... Hoe the fields or something. Yeah, they like. hoe the fields or they'll build a church. <laughs> no, a meeting house. Yeah. A meeting raise house. a barn. Ra they'll raise a barn. That's exactly <laughs> what I was after. They will raise a barn. So if you are good at making bread, if you like making bread, if you like playing with dough, if you like playing in the kitchen, <laughs> if you've got red hair, you'll probably be quite good at this as well. <laughs> but It's not essential, but it helps. It. I think I love these because you could make them tonight and freeze them. Yeah, they're great like this, actually. Frozen like at this point. I'll just show you what Tanina's yeah. pointing at because it's out of the picture. Because yeah. these Look are the ones that... Are these are, and I will, I'll fess up. Yeah. These are the ones that, but, that Bryony and that I actually made, made last week oh, when really? we were testing them. And then we put them in the freezer and we can just pop them into the oven and just reheat them. But I think our... I think our um, See how much neater they're getting? As we play. Beautiful so. ones. Yeah, <laughs> you get better as you go along. Yeah. But I think our beautiful ones might be um, might be fine. We haven't put a timer on here, but 12 to 15 minutes. That's looking actually mm. looking really nice. Um, and I think I like the idea that you can sort of cook as you go along as well. Because then you can eat those <laughs> ones. <laughs> Check <laughs> they're all right. <laughs> Check Make they're, sure they're all right. Working. So Taste the bicarb of soda in this water... Is imperative to get the browning and the shine and the shine yes. on them. And we've got some butter. So when the um, pretzels come out of the, she might just go like that. Where mine are now pretzel spheres. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to call them pretzel balls. Pretzel Amish. bites. Yes, bites. bites. That'd be much better. Yeah. Um, so when they come out of the oven, we're going to brush them with butter and either put some salt on them or. Um, some cinnamon sugar. Yeah, I just really which want to taste also, that. Oh, whoops, which would also I'm be do nice. Salt and cinnamon sugar would be really nice too, you know. I like my salty sweet. Yeah. Yin yang. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I like cooking with you. It's fun, isn't oh, we're it? We're actually having quite a nice time, aren't we? I forgot we're being filmed. <laughs> so thank you to the hundreds... <laughs> Hundreds and thousands of you. Did you like that? That's like a little sort of Sounds cooking joke. A, very co a cooking joke. The hundreds and thousands. No, hundred. Th the hundred. Yeah, the thousands of people out there watching us <laughs> making these fabulous Are there pretzels. No questions. We've had no questions. Is that right? We're just We've explaining no everything beautifully. What the questions are. Well, I think. Do I think. The thing is, it's all. It's all in how we're making it look so very yeah. easy for people to cook because they can. Um, That's a bit ugly, that one. Is Sorry. it? <laughs> That's yours. Okay. It's a bit ugly. It'll okay. taste great. I'm going to do one more, and actually then I'm going to show you how to actually make the dough. Do you know what's really great with this as well is a marinara sauce? So a marinara sauce is an American tomato sauce, but nothing to do with fish. Yes, I didn't didn't understand that. Yes, Tell me so why. Well, it was something that the sea, or, or that they used to make the at sea, and 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 in the ports because it was cheap and would survive. You know the tin tomatoes and so on so they just make a sauce a tomato so do you sauce. think it came from like mariner rather yes, than from marinara, marinara. yeah Ma from mariner from mariner yeah fishermen so um the marinara sauce is just really really great with this to dip you know which yeah. is just like a nice tomato sauce tomato sauce yeah i don't know have you got gum? one on your I you are. look i don't know what you're playing around with a great yeah. recipe for marinara yes i love i make that probably once a week that sauce i use yeah. it on so many things yeah. it's fantastic it's, it's same on the here. website yeah. Same here, same here. We've got it on the Cooks Collective and it's just wonderful to have that in the freezer because it just means that you've got dinner in a flash. Yes. You can do so many different yeah. things with it. So basic fresh tomato sauce Does is yours an have fennel absolute in it? winner. No. No, mine's got fennel and... I'm fennel. sure ours are different because we yeah, haven't they would be. plagiarised each other's recipes. Well, not... No. Well, apart from this. <laughs> but you've told me I can do this, so... Yeah, that's okay. Then, yeah. We share we do. each other's we share recipes, but we never... share alike. Yeah. Always credit really given. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, they're looking okay. pretty funky, I'd say. And I think I might just move those because I'm just a bit worried. Oh, no, we've got that big tray at the top. Excuse me, stretching. Okay. And I've popped it on this flat tray so that we can have the hot tray in the oven and just like slide on. So this is a little biscuit tray. These are looking stunning. So they are looking pretty good, aren't they? So I'm we'll pop these in. Oh, it's melted. Okay. That yeah, that is good to except go. I need I need to open the oven before I get that one in. That one's not a specific tray for the oven. So what what you've got to remember to do when you're doing this is open the oven door like that, pop those on like that. Oh, whoopsie. That's it. Okay. No worries, mate. No and worries. that is that. So let us make this i think you're right with the kids it would be a great one with the kids and they can sort of make the they're very forgiving i think these they're um, oh yeah i mean the kids don't care what they look like <laughs> no they're, it's they're just gonna love yeah. eating them and, and they love making them and ma you know shaping them and kind of playing it's play it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter yeah. what sort of um shape they end up in no. um you know they can do their initials if they want to they can get totally. ready for christmas and do santa and the nine reindeer and all the presents in the okay yep. and if <laughs> <laughs> that's not if you're not full bottle on how to shape a pretzel after today's you know amazing demonstration just go onto youtube there's like so many there are. Demos. They don't do yeah. it quite as stylishly as we do it, but there no. we are. They can't all be. No. Yeah. So, for like when us. when those are ready, just so that we've got it ready, you on your salt on your um, on my watch recipe, oh. you've got uh, parmesan cheese. Yes. We've got butter. Now the butter is unsalted. I was. I think mm. it'd be really nice with salt flakes yes. on the top. Um, and we've got some cinnamon sugar, which we just need to put the cinnamon in the sugar. So go for it just as much as you want. And we've got some mustard as well. So it's actually, you know, we're doing it sort of three ways. We're doing plain salty pretzels. Yeah. We're doing cinnamon sugar pretzels and we're doing the pretzel bites. Yeah. Sounds so it's good. pretty good. Pretty good. So knowing the recipe off by heart as you do, how much flour and yeast and sugar have we got in? Um, just enough. Just think? perfectly yeah, perfectly Proportion. measured. <laughs> perfectly <laughs> measured amounts. I can tell you because I've Do got the recipe Do you remember here. your recipes? No. From time to time? I, no. I, I, like people say to me, what's in that? And I'm like, um, I'd have to look it up. Or they say... I have no idea. I've written hundreds and I know. Or they say, how recipes. come you don't know that recipe off by heart? Yeah. Well, because we've written thousands yes. of recipes yes, over the years. Literally. You can't remember everything. Imagine no. having a thousand children with... Oh, don't eight, say it. ...with at least <laughs> eight names within their name. Yes. You know? It's bad enough with five <laughs> you've got Frankly. five I've only got two and that's yeah. tricky and the neighbor's cat and my husband but he's easy the cameraman <laughs> that's easy isn't it so we've got about 300 uh, grams of plain what flour do you, do you? Well, fantastic they they look, get them out get them out good. I'll get the um, looking very you good. can just oh no you can't get I them can't. out I can't I need a peel or something <laughs> excuse that sound how beautiful and then yes. you've got your butter. Yeah. Look at already. those. We're getting a good shot of those. So, so pretty. So, yeah, it has given it a bit more of a, a bit more of a colour on there. So, while Tanine is brushing with butter, so remember one's going to go in there. Yeah. Okay. Goodness She's sake, so don't forget after that. Her cinnamon I am sugar. so after my cinnamon sugar. Um, cinnamon sugar. So we've got salt in here, we've got instant dried yeast, and we've got sugar. So sugar will feed the yeast as well, and they are slightly sweet, but they're not like a super sweet dough, are they? No. But they're slightly sweet. No, there's just enough to sort of activate the yeast, really. But yeah, they are a little bit sweet. But you can leave the sugar Ten, out. I, to I, want be honest. I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh! <gasps> Look at that, so pretty. Oh one. my goodness. That mm. looks like a donut. So I'm stirring this. Let me get this it's done quickly because I think okay. I'm going to have to eat this. <laughs> then in goes the uh, water. Um, if you want to get these rising a little bit quicker, add warm water, but sort of blood temperature warm, uh, warm water, not boiling water. Otherwise, you'll kill the yeast. And what we want to do is activate the gluten in this flour. And I think it's just plain flour, isn't it? Have you said use... 
Oh no, yeah, 500 bakers. grams of baker's flour. Yeah. Okay, so this will make quite a bit of difference, I think, using the baker's flour in here because you want that gluten to be you really do. quite strong. Yeah. It's so got to hold the shape. You can try it with plain flour, but they may not become quite so sort of pretzely. And do you put the um, Parmesan on there yeah, now. whilst it's warm? Yes. So does it sort of melt well, on there? It's just the butter's going to act a little bit like glue, really. Yeah. And you yeah. could put these back in the oven at this point to, for that for the parmesan to melt a kind little of bit. Melt okay, a little bit. I would probably and a little bit of sugar, on, a little bit of salt on the top yeah. of that. Do you think? Yeah. Okay, out comes this shaggy dough, as we call it in the industry. Don't know. And I'm going to stay. need this. You so need to need. Th it's necessary to need. <laughs> I've learned to say, <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I forget. <laughs> And I say that we need to need. There we oh go. my gosh, that smells absolutely that divine. Great? Absolutely divine. How are we going with those little bites? Um, mm. So I might put these. I might put these ones just in, just because I think we're going to actually just Warm them up. want to have some for lunch, really. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Basically, oh, that oh, one's popping out explosion. the top. But that's good. So you can see. So we're starting off with an old lady's bottom. Looking <laughs> dough like this, like we always do when we're making bread doughs. <laughs> and you can break it apart. See that even just with the baker's flour, just me yes. doing that starts the gluten going. But it, um, the baker's flour is definitely stronger in protein. So it will give you a stronger gluten um, structure. Thank you. Exactly the word. <laughs> Exactly the word. The so word. structure, yes. Mm. So as we're kneading, as I'm kneading, Tina's kneading, to Nina's kneading <laughs> with me in her head, like going, go I Trace. I'm going, go Trace. go Trace. Oh no, she's going, I'd go be Tracy. doing that. In, <laughs> I'd be doing that in the thermo. I certainly would. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, this is my gym workout. I went and did, I went and did the baker's class that you did at... Um, did you? Yeah, the yeah, sourdough I, one? Well, no, no, no. I did, a, I did the sweet dough one. Oh, but okay. I, I did it last year, but you did it this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at Borough Market. Yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely. Like that, if you ever What's go it called? To London, Bread Ahead. Yeah, Bread, Bread Ahead. Ahead. Bread if you ever go to London, go to Borough Market, Bread Ahead, and you have to book into the class way in advance because they get sold out really fast, but they're all fantastic. I all think we're them. up on the Hall of Fame, aren't we, in there? Oh, totally. You've got to look. You've got to search yeah. out the Hall of Fame and yeah. try and find Tanina and I up there. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm making that one up. That we should be, be, be though, quite good. Totally I don't know. Imagine be. all these people going into Bread Ahead yeah. Bakery going, Where's Tanina and Tracy? And they'd be going, What? Who? Your Hall of Fame. <laughs> so look at that. While I was just Perfect. mucking about, yeah, having a chit -chat. kneading like that. So yeah. push, stretching that beautiful dough. It's getting more and more plubber. If we try to. Yeah, it's tough now. Yeah. yeah. So in the recipe, it says just two to four minutes. For so kneading? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> well, yeah. um, Tanina could make them in two to four <laughs> minutes, but just the kneading, two to four minutes, to just start <laughs> activating the mm. gluten, I would imagine. Because they're quite sort of soft and oh, so delicious. So right, so thanks very much. You can <laughs> finish that off now. Okay, so. I'm off to eat my. On next week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's so beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> so we what we do there is. Just leave this in a bowl. Here's the bowl. Here's one I prepared earlier. Pop that in the bowl. Put your clean, I usually put a damp tea towel over it, like that. Damp tea towel. And leave that to rise for about an hour, an hour and a half. Mm. And we get to the place where we were when we first earlier started. Yeah, when we started. Yeah. yeah. So we've actually gone forward in time, come back in time. The sad thing about that is that we're still the same age as we were when we... Well, we're slightly now. older. Yeah. Oh. They're going. <laughs> okay. They're good. That's true. So I'll set that aside. And then I'll still putting going. Uh, butter and parmesan on those little bites as well. Because you, you can. You would. So. Of course you would. Of course you would. How delicious. So the other thing um, that we were talking about before we went live was the fact that it would be absolutely amazing with these sweet uh, bagels, like you can make the little bagel bites, can't you? Mm. So you can make them without the trizzo if you want to mm. do the sweet ones. And do like a cream cheese dip with them. So a sweet, yeah, like, a bit of vanilla, bit of like sugar we do a carrot cheese. cake, yeah. like to, um, icing. Bit of frosting. Um, 
And so Bri said, wow, we've probably got some cream cheese in the fridge that there. you can use. <laughs> so I got it this out. This is a food <laughs> channel. Stop. Yeah. I just, but we it couldn't a use it. Experiment. We couldn't Let's use it. it so way. we were going to show you. We were going to show you how uh, that works, but we can't yeah. today, unfortunately, due to technical issues with the cream <laughs> cheese. So I would definitely be making a little cream cheese things uh, thing with that, and the kids would absolutely love that. But for a footy party for any party to uh you know if you're doing sausages on the barbecue or something why do you have to have this big lump of bread you can if mm. you want to but how beautiful to have sausages you mm. just eat like that and this and lots of picky things mm. would be absolutely awesome i think I, I was just in um europe as you as you know mm. <laughs> and mm. i saw the biggest pretzels of my life they were probably this size like on the, the tray the whole tray they were just huge pretzels so that dough would have to be very strong compared mm. to this dough to get it in the water, and unless they spray it or something, you know. They could commercial. They? Isn't it funny how? Yeah, did you think of spraying before you just said that, or did oh you no, just I did think oh of you it did. before, but oh. I think it's better to dip. It's easier to dip, in my opinion. So I'm just going to going, get this. Can we just let's see what these are doing? Oh, look at those! They've gone off. These are done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Under the camera. Under for the camera. Darling Tanina or Darling Me, cameraman? <laughs> For the side shot underneath the camera. We've got to take photos, So Craig. complex. So complex, this thing. So this, these are done. Okay, I'm just moving everything and out of the way. I just want to show. kind of... Oh, those bottom ones are really done. Yeah, they'll be done. So yeah, we've had a bit of... A bit of uh, escapism happening. <laughs> ah. You want these out? I don't care. I don't know. You can she's, do whatever you want eating. to do. She's, I'm mm. she's checked out already. Mm. So they're just warmed up a bit. Mm. Oh, absolutely beautiful. We've got to put butter on those other ones. Go for it. Okay. She's busy. Oh. So, um, yeah, what's next week's show, Brian? <laughs> Hayley's uh, Healthy Muffins. Hayley's Healthy Muffins. Mm. Chocolate Banana. Chocolate Banana Healthy Muffins. Mm. So, as in clean eating healthy muffins. So, we've still got all that lovely um, sweetness, the... But it all comes from really, really good um, ingredients. Ingredients, yeah. 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 So you can still get this beautiful flavour. Food with, positivity. Um, yeah, with food positivity, you can get the beautiful flavour. <laughs> um, so Hayley will be in here and she'll be telling you about the nutritional benefits of eating these choc uh, banana muffins with great flour, great... Uh, it's just it's a really, you really start fab with the recipe. Best, you can't go wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Well, can, That's why you're here. Use a recipe. <laughs> <laughs> so that is really awesome. I'm very glad we've done that. Um, it's like, phew, I feel like I can relax now about these pretzels. Oh, how good now are we've they? done that. They look amazing. It's really, really delicious. And I think these little ones with the inside the chorizo. You're gonna have I've got to, to be a bit more careful in. with wrapping them, wrapping the filling. Do you know what I truly believe is that if you gave them uh, a little bit, a bit of, of resting rise. time, yes, resting time for the gluten to relax, then pop them in the oven. So, hey, mm. make them in advance, chuck them covered in the fridge and then get them out and pop mm. them straight into the oven and mm. poof, and they will have um, yeah. relaxed will have and hold them. Enclose the filling better. Yeah, yeah. but like hot. Too hot. Got anything? Thanks, yeah. Trey. Mm. December 10. Awesome. Yeah. I'm back December 10. <laughs> I'm coming back for Christmas. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll do something Christmassy then. Yeah. Do we have to wear hats again? No. Nope. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> These are the bites and they're absolutely delicious. So some of them have come out and that's the main thing I think you've got to watch for. But I reckon you could plop that bit on the top as well and just eat that. Be absolutely that bit's going to get eaten first in mm. my opinion. Mm. Anyway. Absolutely delicious. So, yeah, next week... Uh, join us for Haley's uh, muffins, T December the tenth. Put that one in your diary for Tanina coming back into yes. our kitchen doing something beautiful for Christmas, and uh, we hope that you have enjoyed. I have. Thanks. No, not you. Them. Oh. You oh. were supposed to be saying, "I hope we've enjoyed it." I hope it. you've enjoyed it as well. We've I enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I we, always enjoy we it. We know that we enjoy it together, <laughs> so that's good. Was it good for you? Uh. <laughs> It's <laughs> good for me. So <laughs> thank you very much for watching. <laughs> if you've got any questions, uh, post them underneath in either Tanina's Facebook page or our Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you what you thought, whether we were totally s too silly. <laughs> I probably was. Yeah, that's, the cameraman's nodding his head. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> but please do pr try these pretzels at home. I think you'll absolutely adore them. So thank you to Nina You're welcome. for sharing your may, very beautiful may recipe. May the best teams win on the weekend. I don't yeah. care who, but good luck and with happy your birth team. Happy birthday, Lizzie.